Right, lads, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Non League to Premier League, episode 13, I think. We are York. Today, FA Cup third round. We managed to get through Salford impressively in the replay. We then played Cambridge, got past them. They were supposed to play Lincoln, but they did an upset. We upset Cambridge, and that has teed us up for a home tie against Reading, who are in the Championship. Not a big, big team, but there'll be a packed house at the community stadium, and hopefully we might be able to pull off a little shock. We have two strikers making their debuts today. We have spent some money. A bit of a risk. Well, not a risk. We spent a, a lot of money and a freebie. One guy you'll have heard of. One guy you won't have done. He's come through Everton under 23s. We've picked him up for a lot of money. Let's get into today's game. Just one game. Reading at home in the FA Cup. Two strikers making their debut. Let's go. I'm the chap with the red scarf on, going around singing we are York. We're city, play pretty, that is our style of football. How charming, just like the minster, a pint of bitter and a slice from Ginster. Walking the walk, talking the talk, and singing we are York. Climbing up the old division four. If you score some... Right, so we are lying in fifth place in the league. We've had a little bit of a drop off. Um, last three games have been really impressive. We've got a new tactic that I'll show you in a minute. We've decided to go a little bit more aggressive. So, um, last episode, we had the Torquay game. We then followed it up. We said we had Salford in the FA Cup. 5-0 winners over Salford. We then followed it up with a nil, sorry, a 1-0 defeat against third bottom Macclesfield. We then drew away from home against second bottom Harrogate. Um, Won against Cambridge in the FA Cup. Really impressive impressive performance. We had to defend a little bit towards the end. Um, but they didn't score till the 86th minute. So it was deserved. A really good, solid performance. Soaked up a lot of pressure and hit hit them on the brick regularly. Um, Haven't and Waterlooville, bottom of the league. We lost 2-1. So this prompted me to change of tactics. Aldershot, who was second at the time, we beat them 1-0. A very, very poor game, but we nicked a 1-0 win. We've gone through against Braintree. We tweaked the tactic once again, and then we tweaked it once again. Impressive performance. We're starting to dominate games more. Um, we've got Reading next, obviously. Let me introduce you to... I'll do the tactic first. So there it is. Positive. We're still dropping back and going quite narrow. Quite narrow. So when, when, we, when we lose the ball and we're out of possession, we will hopefully see the wingers drop in a little bit. It does suit Sinclair and Ramazani. They're getting into such good positions. But everything else is pretty much the same. I've literally pushed them up the higher pitch, higher up the pitch. We've put crosses on early because we've both our, all our strikers are over six foot. So I thought more balls into the box, the better. Habringham has been in superb form as well. Six assists, 7.3 average. So I'm hoping he can do a bit of whippage with his crossings of 12 and corners. Hopefully he can make... Some decent deliveries in these areas around about here. Right, transfers. The first one that you may not know. Um, basically, I put in over six foot, could run, had a first touch, had some technique, had a bit of pace. This is what it uh, it churned out at me. Manas Manpala. From Everton, we've paid 235000 I wanted them on loan, but they didn't want a loan deal. And we thought, right, sod it. We've got all that money in the bank. We've got, what have we got? We had 700 in the transfer budget. Still 1.73 million in the bank. He may be the difference between us not getting promoted and promoted. An upgrade on with um, Whitaker. We can use Whitaker and Carty. Both are very, very good backups. I think I'm going to have them on the bench, even when we only have five subs in the league. So we can have two players as a really good impact sub. He wants to be an advanced forward. That's what he'll be today. He's only 21 as well. Big money. Nearly £4,000 a week, which is absolutely nuts. But we had the money of taking the risk. Hopefully he'll get us out of the football league. He's on a, what's it, a two and a half, a two and a half year deal. No, sorry, one and a half year deal. So if it does go completely wrong and he's a nightmare, we can cover it over the next 18 months. Pretty comfortably, I think. Um, and the next one, Shed Evans. Pressing forward, a freebie from Fleetwood. He was released. Main thing, once again, six foot, excellent physicals. He can finish. His heading's not great. 
Um, technique good, work rate good as a pressing forward. Mentals really good, pressing forward over six foot. Him and Mampala, I'm hoping, are going to be a step up from Whitaker and Carter. You have done all right. Bigger clubs are looking at Carter. Um, he just don't score enough goals. Look, he's, he's nearly played 27 appearances there um, and only scored four goals. He's only 19. I think what I'm going to do is play the other two a little bit. Whitaker has had a little bit of a, a very dry spell by the looks of it. Look at this shit. He's not scored since his hat trick in October. I didn't realise it was this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 games. Maybe even 15 there. 15 games without a goal. And then we have got Diaby as the only other striker. And he's not doing too well. We also have... Where is he? Sinclair. But he's doing so well out on this left-hand side. He's scoring goals from there. I didn't really want to have to move him across. So there we go. Reading the opponent's today they're in eighth so they're doing pretty well Kike Sanchez Flores it'll be interesting to see how much money we get we're on 1.737 so it'll be interesting to see how much money we make from it it would have been better if we'd gotten away draw but I don't know just to think about it being at home against the championship side we're not going to go defensive either we're going to go with a tactic that we've been playing with so well recently um, let's get them on the bench for now and then we'll give them starts so Mampala's going to start as advanced forward. Ched's going to start as a pressing forward. Both making debuts. Luckily for us, luckily for us, we haven't played for two weeks. We had a game on Boxing Day, cancelled waterlog pitch on the 26th, and then a game on the 28th, which would have been only 48 hours later. That was cancelled waterlog pitch. So we've had a nice break. It meant that I didn't need to rotate. A little bit of shame because I would have had the chance to put Ched Evans and Mampala in and give them a little bit of a run. So they're starting a little bit cold. Look, 57 and 43. But then it'd be good to get Whitaker and Connor Carty on during the game. We are going to go... Oh, both of these boys have been playing really well. I don't think I can even put... I can't even put James Ball in today. We've got some contracts to think about. Abri, if you're watching... One of my channel members who's in the under 18s. You're doing really well at Geisley, but you do not want to sign a new contract. Um, I keep putting my director of football on to try and do it, but he's unwilling to sign. So we may we may lose you at some point, which is going to be a nightmare. The board was happy with the two signings that we made because it was a replacement for you. Um, so obviously your fans said, I am going to keep trying because you've got some decent physicals already at 18. First touch finishing is not great, but sometimes in FM you can get away with it with just having the physicals. So that's one to look at. A star, everyone's booming. Obviously concerned about Terrell's, Terrell's form. I didn't actually realise it was that bad. Right, let's get into it. I think there's the squad. No one's on the bench that I really want to pick. We've got cover. We're not going to play with a goalkeeper. Who is wanted? Runs. I think we may let him have a little loan spell for a bit. Let's offer him out. I'm not bothered about wages, but he's got to be important player. First choice goalkeeper, that's it. That'll do. Right. Let's get into today's game. Ched Evans debut, 28 and 29. Mas Mampala and Evans. Love it when you get two strikers in in the same, in at the same time. See what difference it make. It makes. I was delighted as well when the scouting report came up for Chad Evans and he wanted to be a pressing forward because that's what I wanted. I was a bit worried that he was going to be classed as more of a target man, but I suppose he has got the work rate that makes him good enough to do the pressing forward. Right, Redding have got the ball. Denny's nicked it off him. Here we go, Denny. We get a delivery. Half cleared. Ramazani's underneath it. Mampala's there. Ramazani's there. That was a chance. Half a chance. Oh, is this going to be a break for them? Pushkas. Hazana's completely missed the header. Defend it. Defend it. Carly Woodrow. He's a good player. Osborne's a good player as well. Out to Navarro on this right hand side. Come on. Defended really well. It's going to be a break for us. Sinclair's driving forward. He's still going. Slip him. 
He slipped Ranzami on the right. He's gone for a volley. Go! <laughs> what a start. Get in. 1 0. Lagi Ramazani's ninth of the season. I forgot to tell you, by the way, in the FA Cup replay, when we absolutely smashed, when we absolutely smashed uh, Salford, he got a hat trick. He got a hat trick. And then he missed a penalty for his fourth as well. No, sorry, he missed a penalty for his hat trick. And then he managed to get on the score sheet again. So he could have had four. He's ninth of the season. What a start. Dominating play. They haven't even had a shot yet. Let's not get too carried away. Let's encourage. They're frustrated by me encouraging them. Yeah, they are. Right. Habringham. Bowden. Sinclair. Go on. He does have a decent right foot, does Sinclair. I was half expecting that to go into the top corner, right? Reading have got a corner. We've half cleared it. Rodriguez back out to Osborne. We could be in a bit of trouble here. Rodriguez. Oh, it's at the post. They're going to get the rebound. Oh, you spawny bastard. What did that? Hit the post twice. Their first effort on goal. And they've managed to score. That was a nice bit of build-up. They got a bit of luck there. It took them 29 minutes to have their first shots on goal. They had four in that little passage of play. We've got a corner. Havrum's got a brilliant left foot. It's half cleared. It's come out to Denny, though. What's he going to do with it? He's gone long. and that was... Just put it back in the box. Long punt up. Come on, let's hold out till half-time here. Osborne. They're building a little bit of pressure. Can we win it? Ah, that was a, that was where he should have got a slide tackle in. Denny, that's what you're good at. Overwhelmed of all he said. Concentrate. Fuck me. Come on, let's keep it till half time. Our initial start has gone a little bit flat, I think. Since they scored that goal, we've gone very flat. And obviously they've started to get hold of the ball a little bit. We've not seen anything of our two strikers yet. Rodriguez, we could be in trouble at the back. Oh, he's pulled it back nicely. Good block, though. Really good block from Hobson and free kick. Unfortunately, we're going to actually be losing Bernard. He's got his contracts out at the end of the season. He's, he just says he has no intention of signing a new deal. For no real reason. Oh, brilliant. He does. What's the current offer? What a time to negotiate a contract, by the way. Half timing. Right. I can't do it. He wants two and a half, two and a half grand. Two and a half grand he wants a week. And he's got no defensive stats over 11. Two tens and 11, so he can fuck off. I wanted to keep a core as much as I possibly can. But since we've gone from Conference National... Since we've gone from Conference North to Conference National, and we have got some big players on big books... Um, everyone else thinks they're obviously entitled to loads of money. Um, but as you can see from Bernard, 11, he's only 21, but 11, 10 and 10. Um, his physicals are good. I think we'll just hold out for now. Right, start the second half. We're a little bit quiet. We've had an injury. It's all right. Pochettino can come on. Shame because Ramazan has been in good form for us. Demand a little bit more. I don't know. We've had absolutely nothing. Right, we're clear. Can we pick up the seconds? We have done Mampala. Here we go. Ched Evans. Ched Evans. Ched, 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 Ched. Oh, but a bad. Good save from the goalkeeper. But first little link up between the two. I think we'll look at doing a change later on in the game. Maybe the last 15, get the other two boys on. Bernard, Habringham, Hazana with a throw. Back to Pochettino. Hazana. Lovely cross. We're underneath it. He's there. He's there. Finish. Fucking hell, he just didn't swing a leg. Had bring him. Are we still in? No, we're not. Are they going to break on us here? Oh, fucking are as well, aren't they? They fucking are. When we should we should have had the effort ourselves. Now, push Cass is in. Good save from Jameson. What a save that is. Should have been 2-1 to us, and it was nearly 2-1 to them in the end. Right, we're going to be brave. 14 to go. Whitaker, who hasn't scored like ever, is on. And Carty for the two debutants. Maybe not the easiest game for them to get involved in. I 
didn't really want a re replay be good for the old money. We don't necessarily need it in terms of fixtures because we already are behind on fixtures. Right, Hobson. And with our games being postponed as well. Bowden. Hazana. Whitaker. Oh, Hazana. Bernard. It's gone long. Here we go. Connor Carty. Oh, what a save. I thought he'd actually scored. Thought he'd actually scored. It was a decent finish for once. What a save from the goalkeeper. Habringham. Come on. Sinclair. Oh, God, that was a chance as well. Five minutes to go. Highlight. Going to keep pushing and demanding more from them. Last five minutes. And Reading going to break our hearts here. You fucking bastards. How come when my winger shoots from a stupid angle, we don't get that? And they get a save off the goalkeeper. Oh, Jameson. Come on. Here we go. Last chance. We need to break. We need to break. Osborne. Puskas. Munoz. Ah, oh, fuck you. Fuck you, football manager. <sighs> Two one-on-ones we've had as well. And that effort where they just no one decided to shoot from fucking five yards. Oh, that's an ab. 27 shots since they've had for them in the end. Sometimes I don't know where that number comes from. Oh, dear. They fucking don't like any of my team talks. You can fuck off. Oh, what a stinker. Right, Mark Theobald, our... Prospect goalkeeper is definitely going out on loan, which is brilliant. He's only 17 as well, so I think we need to look at next two years sending him out on loan. Have I got another goalkeeper? I have. Big Phil. You're just going to have to come in, Phil. And do that for me for a little bit. I have been trying to get Kempster back. This is what's annoying about this game, right? Alex Kempster... One of the best players in probably conference in the conference national north last season. <clears throat> Sorry, in the first year. And in real life. And then it's just bullshit. He's just laid there. Chesterfield have wanted him for God knows how long. You would think after a year and a half of not playing football, he would want to come back. He doesn't want to even listen. The amount of players that go out of the game on football manager and don't seem to go anywhere is unreal. But enough of my FM, FM bashing. Right. We've made 100,000. We made 100,000 out of that. Re Imagine the replay with the money. We would have been looking at another 250 grand there. But we've now got to look at pushing. We are behind in fixtures. We're down in sixth. We've got two games in hand on top. So we need to win our spare games in hand, don't we, to stand any chance. We need to make sure that we are playoff position is secured. Higher up the league as possible, obviously, the higher you up, higher up you are. We want to finish top three. Top three would be good because then that gets you into the semi-finals rather than the quarter-finals when these four teams play off against each other. I think I'll crack right on, get through the busy January. We've got some big games, Dagenham, Redbridge, home and away. I think I'll look at rotating for that game in the FA Trophy. We have got lots of players now, so players that need games, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem and we'll come back some, somewhere around maybe February time. And that is it for today. Please drop a like in today's video. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on Tuesday. Cheers, guys. See you later.